Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter here on YouTube. Um, today I have for you a random Temu haul. It, I'm not even sure what all is in it. I know I have some diamond paintings and some diamond painting tools, accessories, whatnot. I'm just not sure exactly what. So let's dive in and see what I got. Start with the smaller package first. Oh, this is probably going to be really loud rattling. It's already cut up in the end that I haven't dumped. I'm just going to dump, it, dump everything out. Alright. <laughs> First off, sorry for my obnoxious little laugh. While I'm diamond painting, I find that I get drills everywhere. So I got this little computer vacuum. I will link everything in the description. I'm not even sure how much everything costs since everything changes so often. But everything I get is pretty cheap. But anyway, I'm hoping these will pick up all the drills I keep dropping all over my desk, all over the floor. It comes in this pretty purpley pink color. It looks a little bit lighter on the camera than it is in real life. Oh, <laughs> I got myself some kitty cat collars because why they wear out so fast, I don't know, but my cat's collars have gotten really stretched out and one lost his bell. And we need these bells to know where they are. Red for Ollie, he always has red, and purple for Willow. He had pink last, so now he's going to have a purple collar. What is this supposed to be? Apparently it's just an empty package. I'm going to have to look and see what's supposed to be in this package. Hopefully it's just something to fill out. I don't see anything now. This is just a gift from my daughter. I bought her one before and it was broke whenever we opened it, so I ordered another one. It was like 98 cents or something. It's not going to focus, is it? Take it out, get rid of the glare. It's just a little necklace. This says, I love you to the moon and back, and the cat looks a lot like our cat Ollie, which is her baby. Oh, I wish I could get it to focus. A couple nail polishes. Both of them are dark reds. I usually use really bright colors, but. I'm going to try out some of their cheap, like less than a dollar, I think. No polishes. I really want to know what was supposed to be in this package. It don't say, it just says red. I bet... I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot, sorry. But, yeah, it's just the other collar. Apparently the collar fell out of the package. I was wondering why it wasn't in a package. I can stop worrying about that. I got myself... I wish I had taken everything out of the packaging. But then I wouldn't have that. Ooh, I bought this. Ooh, I bought that excitement. Because I really don't remember what all I bought. This is one of the little ceramic cutters. Because I've been using scissors to cut the uh, transparent paper over my diamond paintings. And it has not been working out too well. I thought I would get one of those tried out because I see everybody else using those and they seem to work really well. It shouldn't be that hard to open these things. But at the same time, it means they ship pretty securely because they are not coming out of these packages. I wonder if I can just cut the... This is a diamond painting pen that you don't have to use the wax, it's already wax. I wanted to try one of these and see if they work. Actually, I want to try several of them because they had a few different kinds. See if they work. They also have a regular little drill picker upper, I guess, there. 
Sometimes Tamer's descriptions aren't that great, so I don't always know exactly what everything's going to look like, or what all functions they have. Another package that does not want to open. Anyway, maybe you can see it. It's just another, similar to this, just different design. It looks like it has little drills inside of it. It's got the two different ends like this one did. And this one's the same thing, it's just purple. Because purple is my favorite color. I figure out how to open this. I feel like that's what I say on this channel all the time. I don't know how to open the package. He's just got tape on it there. Alright, I got it out. Anyway, I can see it a little bit better now. It's very sparkly. I do like how it has little beads inside of it. I can't tell if they're actual drills or just little faceted beads, but they're sparkly. And it's really light. So the hand will not be getting tired while using that. Let's move these to the side. And bring up my bigger package. What's funny is I'm not actually supposed to be spending money because none of this is sponsored. This all I bought with my own money. But uh, there's just some things that you see for really cheap because a lot of this stuff was under three dollars. I'm not sure how much the diamond paintings are, but I'll think everything. All right. First off, I got some of the little stickers for the containers. I thought they would come in handy. It looks like they have just numbers and then like the actual color numbers and some letters. That should come in handy. Got quite a few in here it feels like. What does it say? It just says rectangle set. Through 99, A through Z, got your B5200, your Blanc, your A crew, and then your numbers starting at 150 and going on up to 3866. So I might be getting me several more sets of these because I've been getting more larger pieces to work on and I might be needing a bunch of those stickers. Just got myself a wireless microphone, a little lapel set, because I would like to, once I get a holder for my phone so I can actually mount it up above me, I want to try using it to see if I can zoom in and do more diamond paint with me and cross stitch with me. I'd like to do some stitch with me ones, but with the webcam not being able to focus, it's been really difficult. I cannot find a distance that actually allows it to show the stitch as well. One of these 28 slot holders for the, the drills. And I got two of these, are they like 50, 56, I think? Yes, 56 it says on there. I wasn't sure what kind of containers I'd want, but I've seen some that are the larger round containers. Then I saw a bunch of these smaller like square containers. And I'd had one of these before and I haven't been able to find it, but I think this will be enough, especially just to store like the, the excess ones. Because I've been just keeping them in baggies right now. Or smaller amounts. So I got 
two of those. And this one's made the same, it's just half the size. And it looks like the containers lay on their side to sit a sit up. Hopefully they fasten well so they don't fall out. Containers kind of hit and miss sometimes, but they look like they're going to work out pretty well. I'm just going to insert a quick little edit here, a little video, show you that I wouldn't really recommend the smaller 28 piece one because the little lids will not stay shut. I might still use it because if you put them, they came sideways laying down like that. And when you have them laying down like that, it holds the lids closed. Oh, I just realized there's a huge glare so you couldn't even see. But whenever they're sitting up, the little lids just pop right open. They don't stay shut. So I probably wouldn't recommend this 28 piece. I will put the link anyway because maybe it's just mine. Maybe they're not all like that. And then I forgot, these are two separate 56 piece containers, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're made basically the same. Just one has like the little tab that you open it with. It's kind of rounded. And the other is square. No, actually it's rounded too. I was looking at the back. So they're exactly the same, but they're two different prices. I'm linking both. Um, they look identical. Both of them close well. Um, I don't trust these to not break off really quick, but the little containers themselves. The only difference I see is, I feel like one, I don't know, one's just like clearer. One's more cloudy. That's the only difference I'm seeing in these. And I feel like this one has a little bit more space. So I don't know if the little storage containers are bigger in the other one. I'll look at the details, but I didn't see anything in the details that showed a difference. Either this one's just a little clearer and shinier. This one's more cloudy. Anyway, I thought I would throw that in to explain why there's two links for the 56 container instead of, you know, just the one because apparently those were two. And these two pins are also separate prices. Different prices, I mean, because I got them separately from different, I guess, I don't know how Timo looks. It was just, a, I guess, different stores. I don't really pay attention. Usually I just look at the prices. But like my purple sparkly one and my black sparkly one were just a little bit they're both like under three dollars but one was just like a few cents more than the other because the purple was sewed out when I, where I got the black one anyway oh and my nail color I didn't realize it was color gel which I don't have like the UV LED whatever light so I guess I'm not going to be able to use them but they're really nice colors I don't know I'll insert a picture of uh, how bold those colors are Alright, that's all I wanted to add. Let's continue with the video. The next one, this is purple. It's not coming out as deep purple on the camera as it is in real life, but it comes with a little brush and a little spoon. Huh, that's funny. You get these in like the little pouches of bumblebee tuna or something like that. But it's got six removable trays for the drills and one large one so you can either use them all or just have these in the bigger tray I thought this might help me not spill as many by having them all organized better because right now whenever I do my diamond paintings I just have a bunch of little green trays sitting out and either I or one of the cats tend to bump them and spill them everywhere. I just don't know if these are going to be big enough for some of the projects I do. Alright, now the more fun stuff. The two diamond painting kits I got. So they were relatively cheap and they don't tell you like how many colors or anything so I didn't know what to expect. 
but I thought I would order some. I saw a couple. I saw quite a few actually I really like, but these are some of the cheaper ones. I'm going for cheap right now with designs I like. This is a Alice in Wonderland theme with the Queen and the Mad Hatter and the cat. I'll try to insert a picture because I'm not going to be able to yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you the actual picture. It has 24 colors. Which I guess isn't bad for this size. Might not have mega detail, but it should be detailed enough to look cute. Yeah, you can see. The symbols are printed clearly. They go... Yeah, they're all letters. I don't see any that's going to be too similar, unless it's the O and the C, but those are totally different colors, so they should stand out. So, yeah, I'm not going to get any mixed up. Yeah, I really like this. I'm looking forward to starting this one. Alice in Wonderland is just one of my absolute favorite books and, and animation, animated movies. Comes with the typical set, but the green tray, the little thing of wax, and the little generic tin, which work perfectly well. You don't have to buy any of the special ones like I do. The number on here is GA015, and it's all printed on all the drills, so you can't get them mixed up with something else. But I can tell you, this one is 40 by 30 centimeters. I'm sure most of you can tell just by looking at it. Show you some of the colors of the drills. Oh, loud. I'm holding it away from the microphone too, and it's still just loud. My microphone is set over to the side. Let's look at these colors. What is it like a burgundy, some gray, some green, browns, dark gray, like a beigey pink, and pink. Is that like dull purplish color? I can't remember what that's called. Is that mauve? Tans, grays. So there's going to be some bright colors and then more neutral colors. I didn't see any black. Oh, there is black. That was way up here. This is this it. Yes, I didn't look at these. This one's got black. There's not a whole lot of black though. That's nice. I have a lot that have a lot of black both in my diamond paintings and my cross stitch and sometimes it just gets really boring to just stitch or paint with black for hours on end. 939, I use that a lot. That's like a what, really dark navy. Anyway, moving on. I could sit here and look at the colors for hours sometimes. I just really appreciate the variety of colors. So my earliest video or earlier videos on this was me when I was learning how to draw and one of the things that attracts me to cross stitch diamond painting and drawing is just the use of colors just makes me happy all right and this one is one of my favorite Disney cartoons of like all time it is a Lady in the Tramp inspired. I will try to insert a picture here. Or maybe earlier. I never know until I'm actually editing where I'm going to put stuff. That Lady in the Tramp. I try to remember if I actually watched the live action. It was the cartoon I always watched and just absolutely loved. I grew up with it. Had the book. The little, um... 
Are they the Golden Books? Lady in the Tramp? I can't remember. Or it might have just been a Disney brand, but I had the book. I had the movie. And I don't even know if either of my children have actually watched it. You're, you see that it's going to have some detail, and it's only have it only has 21 colors. But I think with this, it doesn't need a lot. It's, it's a pretty simple picture. It's just the two two dogs. It's just Lady and the Tramp. Size is 30 by 40. Like I said 21 colors. The symbols are all letters. It looks like they're not going to get confusing. It's really clearly printed. You can almost see it on camera. Comes with the typical kit. Green tray, the wax, and the generic pen. Kit number is FF387A, and that is printed on the drill packages, so we don't have to worry about getting those confused. I really wish they wouldn't come so wrinkled. It's hard for me to get the wrinkles out. Once again, I'm struggling with opening a package. Is this a surprise? No, it's not. It's got to be here somewhere. There it is. And again, it's super low. I apologize. I'll try to figure out in editing if I can muffle that a little bit. Now let's look at the colors. 21 colors. There is no 310 black. There is none of that dark navy gray that I'm used to. Mm, nice shiny. It's always funny when they have the other colors mixed in. I was like, how did they even do that? I guess when they're selling each of these and filling them. Light tans. Almost chocolatey pan. It's like an orangey peach. They just do not show up on my camera good. The gray, another tan. What's that orangey brown? That's a really light pink peach. More peachy. A lot of light, bright colors. And tans and browns and orangey browns and grays, but plenty of light colors to keep it really interesting. Put this back up. This one I will probably finish, and if it comes out well, I'll frame it and put it up somewhere because I just, like I said, I love Lady and the Tramp. Same with the Alice in Wonderland, though. I'm going to run out of wall space. What else do y'all do with diamond paintings when they're done? I've never actually framed any or hung up any. I had a couple that I did years ago that I'd like prop up for like Christmas and stuff because they were Christmas themed. I don't even know what people do with them. But I know I'm going to frame a couple. Especially this one. And this lady's so pretty. She was always one of my favorite dogs in a cartoon. She's just so ladylike. <laughs> Yes, I have a horrible sense of humor. One more little cut, because as I was looking up the prices of everything, let's see if it'll show. My Lady in the Tramp post or diamond painting is called Frameless Puppy Diamond Painting, three ninety nine. Apparently, it's discontinued now, so you can't buy it. You might be able to find it elsewhere, but right now, this specific one with this link is discontinued. Probably due to licensing issues or something, since it is a lady in a, obviously Lady in the Tramp. And I'm sh sure they don't have the license for that. Alright, now, once again, let's continue with the video. Alright, probably a pretty quick video. Um, thank you for watching my Tamu haul. This, I really would like to do more of these, but I'm going to have to, I haven't been working, so I don't have income coming in right now. I'm a full-time student, and I've been taking a little bit of break from my part-time job so I could focus on school. 
lucky enough that some of the companies have collaborated with me, so I'll be getting more stuff in to show y'all. Tamu, if you're watching, send me some stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, I will link everything in the description. My social media will be linked in the description if you want to follow me on TikTok or Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. And um, I'll do my little Tamu affiliate link where you can click it and get 50% off or $100 worth of coupons or whatever they have going right now if you're new to Tamu. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.